Hey guys, what is up? It's Ashley. Today I'm gonna show you how to do three different ombre lips using the new Revlon Ultra HD Metallic Matte Lip Collection and their new Street Chic Collection from their Super Luscious line. As you probably know, an ombre lip is when you fade different colors into each other. It's a trend that's been going on for years and it's definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. I just love how versatile an ombre lip is. Not only are there endless colors to choose from, but there's also a ton of different variations of the look itself. Today I'll be showing you how to do a bold tie-dye lip like the one I have right here, a soft and romantic gradient lip, and a really awesome classic red ombre lip. Okay, let's get started. First off, for any ombre lip, you wanna make sure you're starting off with a smooth base. So I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Kiss Balm in the shade Tropical Coconut to make sure they're nice and hydrated. The first lip look I'm gonna do is a bold and playful tie-dye metallic lip in blue and purple. This is just a new twist on ombre. Typically, when you think of a traditional ombre, you think light to dark. Tie-dye is completely different. You're gonna mix whatever shades you want, so it can be funky colors, just mixing them together, kind of like those tie-dye t-shirts. Now, whenever you're doing any kind of lip art, it's really good to use a lip liner to outline your lips, so that way you don't draw out of the lines and everything just stays in place. So I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Okay, so for the tie-dye part itself, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in their metallic matte finish. There are eight different shades, and just like their other Ultra HD lip colors, they give off high definition color, are extremely smooth and moisturizing on the lips, which I absolutely love. First, I'm gonna apply HD Dazzle, which is a super pretty bright saturated violet, and I'm gonna apply this to the upper and bottom of my lips on the left side, stopping at the Cupid's bow. Next, using HD Glitz, which is a really pretty hypnotic blue, I'm gonna replicate exactly what I did on the left side, on the right side, so I'm gonna apply this on the top and bottom, stopping at my Cupid's bow. Once that's done, just take your finger and just tap on the very center to buff and blend the colors together, giving you a really nice ombre faded effect. See, how cool is that? For a little bit more added precision, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Retractable Lip Brush to further blend the colors. This is specifically helpful, especially when I'm blending the Cupid's bow area. If you really wanna take this look to the next level, you can add in a bright, vibrant pink like HD Obsession from the Revlon Ultra HD Original Matte Lip Color Collection. Again, I'm just gonna go in with the retractable lip brush to ensure that everything is nice and blended. How pretty is that? All right, let's move on to the gradient lip, which is a super soft, romantic, and ultra feminine lip. It's known as a Victorian lip, but you may know it as a popsicle lip. I'm gonna first go in with the Revlon Super Luscious Lipstick in the shade Pink Velvet. This color is a part of their Street Chic collection, which was inspired by the offbeat shades found in street style all over the world. This shade particularly is inspired by Seoul, South Korea. So normally when you think of an ombre lip, you think of the darkest color being on the perimeter of the lip, but today for the gradient lip, we're gonna do the exact opposite. So we're gonna take the shade and we're gonna apply it to the center of the lips, and then later on we're gonna apply a base color around, which is gonna be lighter. I'm taking the point of the lipstick and dabbing it on my upper lip so I can really control where the color is going. You can feather this out with your finger, but keep in mind you want the deepest portion of this color to remain in the center. Once that's done, you wanna go in with Revlon's Ultra HD Metallic Matte Lip Color in the shade HD Glow. This is gonna be our base color and we're gonna apply it around the perimeter of our lips. 
As we get closer to the pink velvet shade, you just wanna lightly feather it in. You don't wanna completely cover up the pink velvet shade. This is a really pretty shimmery nude. I love it. I think it looks amazing with this look. I'm just taking my fingernail and I'm just buffing out the edges to make sure everything blends very nicely. Man, these also smell really good too. See, it really does look like you just ate a popsicle. As you can see, the gradient from bright to light, it's super pretty. I am so obsessed. Last but not least, I wanna show you guys how to create a classic red ombre lip. I think it's super important to have a red lip in your collection, and the ombre effect just puts a modern spin on a classic look. Today, I'm gonna to be mixing a Bombshell Red from the Super Lustrous Street Sheet Collection, inspired by the vibrant colors of Mexico City, with HD Flare, which is a really pretty shimmery red from the Revlon Ultra HD Metallic Matte Lip Color Collection. Once again, I'll start off with the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner. Since I will be using a red lip color, I'm gonna use the shade Red. Now I'm gonna go in with Bombshell Red around the perimeter of my lips, still leaving the center of my lips bare. Next, I'm gonna go in with HD Flare and I'm gonna pop this on the center of my lips, blending it in with that Bombshell Red. I'm really loving this color combination. HD Flare is a beautiful light reflecting shade that gives you that really subtle ombre effect. Okay, and there you have it. Three different spins on an ombre lip. Using the new Revlon Ultra HD Metallic Matte Lip Colors, and the super lustrous street sheet collection. These are all really fun and awesome ways to change up your look and be a little bit more playful. To learn more about these amazing products, be sure to click the link in the description box down below or go to Revlon.com. I'm Ashley, and this has been a Revlon guide to variations on an ombre lip. Don't forget to give this video a big like and subscribe to Revlon's channel for more amazing tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.